What's good, YouTube? It's your boy FBI from Math. We back here at No Limit Fitness. Shout out to No Limit for the two year anniversary. And uh, just to give y'all a little glimpse of what happened on the two year anniversary, which was yesterday, we'll throw that right now. Boom, welcome back. All right, check this out. We're gonna hit some chest today, man. Um, I've been taking a little bit of break, little break off of doing chest training, uh, just specifically because of a tight tendon, like something in this area is just really tight. And um, it was just getting really aggravated doing pressing movements. So hopefully I feel a little bit better today. Hopefully I can push myself today without having to worry about this area. Uh, but what I'm gonna do before I get to my bench is do a really good warm up, uh, consisted of some push ups. And a little bit of flies, not not full range flies, just flies in the, in a in a motion about right here, uh, just so I don't overstretch the area that's been bothering me. You don't want to irritate that area, and overstretching can uh, definitely you know irritate an area. You know you can pull something, and I've never you know knock on wood, hold on, never pulled anything in my chest or anything. You know, Matt just pulled his bicep, helping his friend move. So a hey, quick recovery, my boy. Um, we just got off the phone like the other day talking about that. And yo, and it's crazy because injuries don't happen. Like you guys see me, you see all the crazy shit that I do on Instagram, YouTube. I don't get like I don't get hurt doing crazy stuff. I get like if I was to get hurt, it would be like something simple. Like yo, like I was playing ball. I was just playing by myself. But what are you playing against nobody? I just went for a side, you know, just like you know, I was just chilling, 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 and then woo, took off. And then, yo, I swear on everything, I felt like my knee was about to come out, bro. Like, just that one movement, and I'm like, yo, like, you know, like, that's why I haven't, like, done any dunk videos or anything lately, because, like, that shit scared me. Like, I know I'm heavy, you know what I'm saying? I know, like, my joint stuff, it's, it's like, it, it's, a, it's a toll on my body to do certain movements um, too fast without, like, working my way up to it. And, like, that shit just kind of scared me, so. That being said, uh, I'm just kind of like taking it a little bit slower again. You know, sometimes I'm the type of person that feels like I can do anything. And, um, you know, that can pretty much be a negative for me. Um, so, uh, yeah, you just got to work your way up to that shit. It's all about confidence. When you have confidence to do something, you do a little bit better. You do 100%. And, you know, when you're lazy about stuff, like even in football, when you're lazy about stuff, that's how you get hurt in football. You got to be 100% on all everything in any sport. So... That being said, let's get to this warm up and uh, yeah, I'm gonna start with some back. I'm gonna start with pull ups and push ups. So I'm just gonna go back and forth for about four sets. Oh, yeah. My triceps are still sore from the jacks on workout. Yeah, it's crazy. It's been like three, four days, three days. Catfish for our guy. I don't like the benches here. This shit comes out way too far. I don't know. I always hit it when I try to get it back up. I always hit it when I try to get it back up. That's funny. Got the back pump, which is good. That'll, that'll help me stay tight in my bench, make sure I got a good, nice, slight arch, which you don't want to do. 
I don't know what the whole powerlifting is saying, you know, with the big arch and blah, blah, blah. I don't do an arch like that. My arch is just, just enough, just about like, probably about the biggest, big as the fist, my fist right here. That's as much of an arch as I get. And that's just to make sure my back is tight. Pull the, whenever you pull these arms back, this is the feel you want when that barbell comes down. So what I'm gonna do today is, if you don't, if you see me not touching my chest, that's just specifically to because I don't want to stretch too much in this area right here. Usually when a tech pair happens, I feel like it's this area, that connection to the shoulder joint and that shoulder joint from the lat, actually that lat joint that connects like right here. Cause the lat comes all the way. There's like a little tendon and a ligament area that connects right here up into that shoulder and joint when everything is so tight and you pull like this, back and forth that's what causes that problem that that tear or whatever injury in this area you don't want that tight front delt you know with the connection of the lat and then the tight chest pec um so you just gotta really pay attention to all these things especially if you hit the front delt a lot from benching to overhead pressing to front raises that's why i stopped honestly i stopped uh um, consistently overhead pressing, so. right now a little little tricky G fuel man don't forget I got a goal of 500 sales a month so I'll be promoting the hell out of these each month use code aftermath for 10% off don't forget these are my two favorite peach mango peach iced tea I'm from the south I like peach I mean tropical rain is another one too but at the end of the day with some cold water some ice throw this joint in there oh that's it and also brother yokai is coming back first batch sold out second batch is coming to you don't forget man hey look one thing i want to tell you guys how to take this what you want to do this is not a game all right let me tell you this is not a game this is not something like to fuck around with i'm, I'm telling y'all this now all right this is some serious shit for some serious lifting. This is not to be going around trying to like, you know, fuck with people. Like it's, it's not, this, this could really fuck you up. And the thing, I'm, I'm saying this because I have to be cautious about the younger crowd and, and things and to learn how to use this. This is something you want to use on, you know, you want to focus in, get serious and, you know, you know, go for a PR or something, just for a little spike. What you don't want to do is open it fully and just throw your nose over it. You want to come in, open it, boom, like this. Like that. And you want to slowly come in. Sniff, sniff, sniff. You know what I'm saying? Just take like one, two, three, get a little closer. But you don't want to open it and go like that. That's not how you do that. This shit will, I promise you, if you do that, this shit will fuck up your life. It will fuck up your life. That's how strong it is. This is a very strong ammonia salt. So be careful, all right? I need strong, because I am strong. See, god damn it. Get this shit again on this side. We're gonna work out. We're gonna work out with 225. That's my safe zone. I'll take this down. I just had a vision that I just popped my shit. I ain't even gonna take the risk. It feels like I felt the pain of that vision. Like I feel it. Like I felt that shit. Sometimes you gotta listen to the conscious mind and just be smart. I'd rather be smart and over safe than going on the whim and just saying fuck it. Especially without a spot.
five sets of 15. Dumbbells. I actually feel fine, doesn't hurt, doesn't bother my chest. So, stick with the 55, sets of 15, still feel a good contraction pump. Good feel. I'm gonna superset now, some prayer presses. Got one more set. So two sets of 15 with the dumbbells. And then three more sets the dumbbells and the plate. Prayer press. And then a quick plate press. 10 reps for both. in the middle of a workout. My chest is already pumped. Everything's flowing already. This is not something I would ever use cold turkey. Comment below if y'all are cool with me dropping out a carb supplement. One thing that is the most, the most important thing, honestly, for anybody is carbs. You need carbs, energy. You need carbs to perform. For athletes, you know, bodybuilders, people trying to get in shape, regardless. For those, you know, for me, like this morning, all I did was take a carb drink and, um, and a pre-workout. And actually, when I take the carb drink with the pre-workout, I'll feel the pre-workout more just because it's really, all those fast carbs are just shuttling all the nutrients, just quick, pow, pow, pow. You know, especially just first thing in the morning, just coming through workout, um, you know, slightly faster, but not really because you're taking carbs. Um, and I'll take 50 grams of that. And like, you know, some days I'll just be good to go. Some days I need a little bit more, but some days I'll be good to go and I just need some quick and ready, just a, just a feed off of something. So right now I am uh, working on coming out with a carb drink. I know most people come out with a pre-workout and stuff. You know, I feel like there's a lot of pre-workouts out there. Eventually I'll get to that. Um, but right now I want to focus on the things that people don't get enough of. People already get enough of pre-workouts. People don't get enough of the carb type drinks, you know, uh, fast, fast carbs, uh, try to make it vegan, vegan friendly, um, gluten free, um, because I'm, 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 allergic, I'm allergic to dairy and, and stuff. So I have to, I, it has to be something that I could take as well. You know, it, it wouldn't make sense for me to come out with something that knowing I'm allergic to it and saying, oh yeah, I use this, blah, blah. Like, no, I want to make products that I actually will use, actually feel the ingredients work the most, which work the best for me. Um, and not just um, throw throw some nice body and sell it type bullshit. Like, no, this is all about performance or results. I'm showing you the results through my work, not through my body or speech. I think I think a body can be made fakely, but performance, given putting in work, is a different story. Yo, while I had a dream last night, I got into a fight with Waka Flock of Flame. Yo, I, I swear I was going off on Evo. I was in my dream too. I was at Evo going off. I was going off on somebody and the crowd was getting hyped, yo. Like, Who is this nigga? That kind of motivated me to get on my shit, man. 
So that should actually come true at Evo. Fuck, I'm playing MK, I mean, play MK11, Soul Calibur, and Tekken at Evo. I ain't been playing no Tekken. I've been playing Soul Calibur more to come back, but no Tekken at all. And I play, I play a lot of games, bro. And I've been playing Dragon Ball Fighters, I feel like, the most. Fuck. Yeah, bro, I gotta get on my shit, man. Hey, come to my Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash FBI You already know what the business is, man. You already know what we do, man. We out here, gamers, fitness. Also, there I'm not I'm not doing the gaming channel no more. I, I might throw some stuff on there here and there, but until until I get that gaming channel set up, I'm gonna be posting some like like we're gonna be doing like game you know we're gonna be doing game and movie reviews on this channel. You guys like the Jack's thing video we did with the review with it? I don't want to separate my gaming and fitness because that's what my whole brand is. That's what I'm about, and that's what I want to you know push out to everybody. You know, fitness and gaming. You know, that's what I do. That's me. You know, Kyle, Kali Muscle does it, so I don't see why I, I can't either, you know? And then if that does good, we, we grow with that, then I'll start vlogging and shit. feel comfortable on this. Incline on the Smith machine is always good. I'm trying to build my upper chest. This is what I do. Yeah, yeah. We out, man. We done. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Check this out, man. Uh, comment below what type of videos you guys want to see below. So give us some ideas, you know what I'm saying? Just a little bit of inspiration to kind of get the content that you guys want out there. Um, you know, I do this. You know, we both do this because uh, we, we like it. We enjoy it. Uh, even on the days we just don't feel like doing shit, we still get out here, grind, you know what I'm saying, for you guys. And uh, yeah, you know, that's another thing, man. Like, yo, we do this for all, you know what I'm saying? Like, we don't have to, like, we don't have to, like, be doing this. You know what I'm saying? Like, we built something out of it, but it all started to, like, touch everybody else. You know what I'm saying? For me, like, it started to help others, to, to motivate others. And that's just what it is, you know what I'm saying? And I hate the hatred in this industry about shit that I do or whatever, like, false this, false that. Like, nothing is false, man. Like. Like on the real, you know what I'm saying? I keep my personality and I am the way I am you know, to show you guys that that's this is how I am, you know what I'm saying? And I might have some areas with others of you that are kind of scared to show your true colors. Like, like there's no reason to be, and that's my whole point on, on everything that I do. It's just like, yo, like true colors is what will get you through life, you know what I'm saying? Lifestyle, lifestyle, true colors. So, we out, man. Catch me on Twitch, catch me on Instagram. You already know what it is. I saw you.